Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deanna and you're watching Orky D. Thank you for joining me on this glorious summer Queensland day. It's um, a balmy 31 degrees today. I'm already sweating. It's pretty high humidity because it's just been raining pretty much every day. But we've had a couple of sunny days, so I thought I'd come out into this shade house and do a video on my Vanders because my Vanders are really loving life out here. Um, in this shade house and I'm going to be seeing a lot of first time bloomers like for me uh, I believe this year uh, granted some of them still haven't bloomed for me but I really really have high hopes this year um, so I'm going to show you the ones that are in bloom and I'm going to talk about some of uh, the different varieties that I have I will admit I am not a Vanda expert so I'm going to call a lot of these guys Vander types even though they're not all technically Vanders um, but I'm gonna put them under this Vander umbrella um, they're monopodials they are Vander types but we'll get to some of the ones like the Rinker stylus which really aren't as high light as these other Vanders which are just like hanging almost in direct light but but like most orchids you can't they won't tolerate completely direct light not straight away anyway this is going to be terrible footage but there is the sun it is right overhead which is why it's so hot at the moment there's 70 percent shade cloth through this shade house but that's about as much sun as i can give them at the moment you know and they don't burn they're hanging right up the top there that's all the protection they have um, and they love it you know they also get they've been getting all the rain that's been coming this year drains very very well obviously through these baskets in the past uh, i haven't had the greatest luck at blooming vander types um, so there's still quite a few that haven't bloomed for me yet but i am very cautiously optimistic this year that they're going to do well and hopefully i'll get some blooms because i have some quite big vanders vander types whatever uh, that still haven't bloomed for me so we'll see how they go this year anyway I'm going to show you some of the blooms and show you some of the types and um, talk about the different seasons in which they bloom and the different care I am currently giving them so before we go any further and I run out of time let's not go past this gorgeous girl here this is Erides Hulishiana and I'm not gonna say I keep favorites but this is one of my absolute favorite orchids. Yes, out of all the orchids I own, this girl is one of my absolute favorites. So she's a decent size now and I got her when she only had about three or four leaves. It has been blooming pretty consistently every summer for me for, this will be the fourth year. Um, I think we missed one year uh, at the old house because it just didn't quite get enough light so a lot of these vanders will require enough light to bloom but in my last house i really struggled with either getting like complete shade or it was like full sun so shade cloths are awesome because you you can get a really good amount of light but still have some protection it's a really hard balance to get inside the home environment i find because you need it bright and just bright shade sometimes doesn't quite cut it you need that filtered sort of light so you can see how very very pretty these blooms are the color is this gorgeous lemony color and then the lip is this beautiful pink purple inside the throat's got these two little stripes but then when you look as a whole it's like a little foxtail so both a lot of the rinka stylus types and the aerides have these arrangements of their blooms and they're just delightful so not only do we have this gorgeous display but in my last video i showed that it was in bud and two days ago i walked into this shade house and i smelt her straight away i knew she was open so this fragrance no joke you can smell it from just outside the shade house it is so powerful and it is a fruity lemony fragrance like I can't describe it but it is hands down my absolute favorite orchid fragrance 
it is just divine and it is so powerful it's intoxicating and it just takes takes over the entire shade house so a lot of these air varieties types um, do bloom for me in the summer I have um, a couple of spikes on another air varieties that I'm going to show you but they do like a lot of Sun so I'm going to say this one is medium to highlight whereas the other air varieties I'm going to show you are pretty much like they can take full Sun and they have been in full Sun previously now while we're on the topic of air varieties um, I have another air varieties down here this is Quinquevel Nera and it's actually not got any bloom spikes so I'm keeping it down here and I don't know if it was fully intentional, but it is down here with a couple of my lower light banders. So mainly the Rinka Stylus. And I'm wondering if it didn't quite get enough light in this outdoor shade house to bloom. I thought that they all bloomed in the summertime, so maybe I don't have the right season. But yeah, no spike on that one. This big Aerides does have spikes now. This is a little bit of a trick because I'm pretty sure there's two plants in here um, and when I repotted it I just put them in the same container. So there are a couple of little baby plants developing as well but I currently have, well let's just count them. So one of the main plants has one, two spikes and then we've got three, four, down the bottom here we've got you can see that two more spikes on a smaller part of the plant so we've got six spikes developing on this Aerides it's got a pretty prime position there at the moment it's usually hanging but um, once they start spiking I do bring them down this is going to be a really really nice flowering now let's have a look at these other like I'm going to call them complex hybrid vanders um, which is which is what they are um, these guys do have the potential to bloom multiple times a year but for me they have only ever bloomed during the summer months to be honest in the past I generally don't get a huge amount of blooms in these really hot summer months like January February I tend to have a little bit of a lull in blooms but these vanders are blooming really well for me this year so this one is Robert's Delight Alexander and it is a true purple really nice size they have these huge sepals which are actually bigger often than the petals and over here we've got one without a label but I'm pretty sure it is Vanda Cruchom now that massive bloom same sort of shape as the Robert's, Robert's Delight but this one is a more maroon pink color and you can see she's a fairly big girl now I got I got her when she was probably a more moderate size um, but growing really well here in this shade house now we've got some hanging here that I'm not going to bother getting down they're not in bloom currently that's an Acampi Regida which bloomed for the first time for me last year actually no it would have been this year it was in this shade house late summer I do have some photos it was super cute so um, hopefully it blooms again for me early next year this one has never bloomed for me I'll let you guys read the tags of Ascocinda Guochia crossed with Vandopsis parishii I'm not sure when that'll bloom but certainly I would say blooming size um, but the Ascocindas are generally fairly easy bloomers so this is an Ascascend, it's just finished flowering, but it flowers multiple times a year. So this is um, Sook Sun Run Sunlight. Now down here is a little bit of a lower light corner. And some of the Vanda types here are appropriately put here. Uh, some you'll see that they're probably not in the, the spot that would be best suited for. But anyway, we've got the Rinka Stylus down here. They are probably similar light needs to Phalaenopsis. Um, they can tolerate slightly cooler conditions um, and they do tend to spike. Well, these ones in the frame here, that's Rinka Stylus Gigantia and a Rinka Stylus Cross, uh, Rinconopsis Destiny Dixon. And they both spike in winter and they end up blooming in early spring. I've got I just noticed this is my Rinka Stylus Celestis Blue um, and this is a first spike for this one so they don't all bloom in winter and I'm, that's actually going to be a very 
very exciting bloom for me because I've had this plant for quite a long time actually. As I mentioned, I've also got this Aerides back here, which probably isn't in the right spot. Do believe behind this plant that's an Aerides too. Um, I think it's Curvaflorum, but I've lost the tag. This one here is a Rhynchus stylus. Again, <laughs> I'll have to find the name of it somewhere. Now down here we've got an Aerangis. This is Aerangis articulata and this is also probably considered lower light which is very confusing because it sounds a lot like Aerides but it's Aerangis. Same as the Rhynca stylus lower light similar to Phalaenopsis levels. Um, I do have my Renantheris here. They both bloomed even though they were in a shadier spot but apparently they are higher light vander types. They can tolerate almost direct light so I'll probably move them a little bit later on. So last of all I just want to show you this little bloom. This one is Vanda tessellata crossed with Mimi Palmer. I recently had a double spike on this just a couple of months ago and it put this neck spike out almost straight away. I think that is a really beautiful bloom so it's a little bit of an awkward bloom because the other the other flowers are facing the wrong way. It's a very, very nice fragrance as well. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video with one last look at my Aerides, Hulishiana. During the filming, I could just smell her the whole time. I wish I could convey to you guys just how amazing this flower smells, but it is just a glorious, glorious smell. I'm sad it only blooms once a year, but it does make it all the more, more special. Um, and it did bloom last year. I did have it in one of my videos last year, uh, one of my very few videos <laughs> while I was pregnant. Hi again, everyone. I thought I would just add this additional clip. So I filmed that Vanda video like three weeks ago and haven't gotten around to editing it until now. So I thought I'd come out here today and just show you some of those spikes that have bloomed. So this is one of them. I'm pretty sure, because there's no label, but I'm pretty sure this is Vanda Pachara Blue. And I think you can tell why it's called that. This is probably one of my bluest orchids, actually. Um, it's really more of an indigo, like a, like a blue purple, but I mean it's pretty close to blue. It's really, really pretty. It's it's still a big, big bloom, but not quite as big as um, the other two that have recently bloomed. Um, the plant itself probably needs a fungicide treatment. It's just been quite humid and rainy here, so to be honest, probably all these orchids need uh, a little bit of. Uh, spray with some fungicide but just like everything else on my to-do list it'll have to wait they all need repotting too and I have no idea when I'm gonna get around to all of that um, I realized while I was filming that I didn't show you my neophonishes um, it's because I consider them neophonishes and not vandas but actually you know like a lot of them are crossed with the vanda types and this is one example so this one's spiking this is my um neostylus loose neary i for some reason thought it was like a spring bloomer but it's spiking in summer and also over here we've got my asco Phoenicia peaches which is in full bloom at the moment and looking very pretty and just to finish off this video what I really wanted to show you guys was that the Rink Stylus Celestis Blue was in full bloom and she is so pretty. I mean, it's just got this really soft, gorgeous quality to it. Um, it's quite fragrant, uh, nowhere near as fragrant as my Aerides Hulishiana. Very similar fragrance to the other Rink Stylus. I'll just zoom in a little bit there. A gorgeous little lilac lip really pretty anyway guys um i'm gonna leave this video there i hope you guys um have had a wonderful christmas and happy new year i believe this may be my final video of 2021 um, but have a really really safe holiday guys and i will see you in the new year happy growing until i see you then bye